Good morning. It is a Thursday today, and we are going to take care of these ratty looking beds. We finally got some of the, that webbing that you use for aluminum chairs, the old school aluminum chairs. So we're going to fix these up. And this is why we call her Jungle Fever. Kaylin! There are the empty frames. There's the garbage. Here are the screws. Here's Marissa. She's cutting some of the strips of the new webbing. Marissa finished one of them. Come on, Hudson, come here. Look at this. Brand spanking new on your bed. And the second one is done. This is probably version 4.0 of these dog beds. Um, I know there's a bunch of YouTube videos on how to make these, um, but most of them show using cloth. And we found that after, because they're outside, they would rip and just, and, and also since they're outside, they would also hold a lot of water, keep a lot of moisture in there. And it took forever that, for them to dry. So the webbing's working quite well. Um, as you see, we did have to replace the webbing, but we would have had to replace the cloth if we use that too. We got the webbing from eBay. So this length here, that length is about two feet. And this length here, is about four. Um, and those are about four inches. So it's about four inches off the ground. Um, these you do need to get from um, probably online. This is the size that we have. This is our male golden laying on it. So you can get a size comparison if you have a smaller dog. Yeah, good times. Oh, and the screws that we use are these. And it's nice because you can just kind of screw this in directly into the PVC. And of course the PVC is just dry fit. We're not sending pressured water through here, so... But yeah, we've been really happy with this version, so there you go. Well, there are the puppies. Kaylin is sitting on the cement. 